Africa, my God, my people, hey, my friends, not my people. I ain't no slave owner. Um, hey, it's another Dio review from his albums that I did like 10 years ago, but they were banned on YouTube, so the description is below on BitChute, so check it out. That version, I add video and pictures and the music of the album, which is a big no-no here. And uh, this time I'm talking about the second Dio, uh, so, well, not solo, it was a band. Uh, the Last in Line, which is a continuation of Holy Diver. Amazing album, though I feel not as strong. See, to me, Holy Diver was all killer, no filler. This one, it has some filler. I love that. But um, I love it, man. I bought this right when it came out. And what's this I have in here? It looks like I have some kind of record in here. Oh, this is uh, Evil Eye original version and Time to Burn. This came in this album, which is part of the Dio box set. And unfortunately, it doesn't have the inner sleeve. I always love that picture in the inner sleeve, where it shows like fans outside with the Dio banner. Uh, this one doesn't bring it, unfortunately, where the Holy Diver brought all the collage stuff. But anyway, this album rocks. Starting with the first track, We Rock. And it, again, what an anthem. You know, it's him like, We Rock the people and us, you know, and it was always such a great live track, seeing him play that live, because it, it was like a, a sense of unity, you know, when he would play We Rock, how, huh? you know, because it's true, we do rock. When we go see Ronnie James Dio, we're there for one reason, one reason only, to rock, and uh, also to hail Satan, but yeah, you know, I'm just kidding, um, but uh, yeah, great opener. Well, man, Vinny, like like Ronnie says, Vinny, he's a wrecking machine, like Mickey said to Rocky, too. But yeah, uh, Ronnie said that, I believe it was a spec, uh, special at Spectrum, which was this tour. Now, I want to talk about this tour. Holy crap, man. A lot of people talk about the Sacred Heart tour with the dragon and stuff. This one blew it away, I thought. This is the best time I ever saw the Dio band. Um, it, you know, it had the Egyptian type, I mean, if you see the special the Spectrum, you know, and this is before Iron Maiden went out on the Power Slave tour, so they had the Egyptian shit first. And there was a lot of cool things that happened, like a big snake came out, and uh, Vinny, uh, Vivian Campbell, when he did his guitar solo, his guitar would glow, and Ronnie had this whip, and he would whip the sky, and Pyro would go off. It was just phenomenal, man. I saw it at the West Palm Beach Auditorium, and it was just like, at that point, it was the greatest stage show I ever saw. The only time I ever saw Pyro before that was Nazareth, believe it or not. Uh, that was the first time I ever saw Pyro on a show. Uh, this was 84. I've already seen a handful of shows, maybe like 20 or so, but nothing like this. This was a spectacle, man. What an amazing, amazing stage show we had. He really gave you bang for your buck. Where, you know, Sacred Heart, I remember a lot of people were glowing about it. I missed it when it came here because I was in California at the time when it played down here. And But then when I came back home, it came back as the intermission tour. But it was still the same tour with the Dragon. And this time it was Accept, not Rough Cut, which I, I dig Rough Cut. I saw Rough Cut headline a club, so no big whoop. No big loss, uh, except to me is godly. So it was cool. I saw it except twice. That time, and I saw my headline, Sunrise Musical. But, um, and it was a great show. I'm not slamming the Dragon show. I mean, it was cool and all, but I, I don't know, man. This one didn't get as much attention. And hey, listen, I'm not trying to be that guy because I'm not slamming the Sacred Heart show, but Last in Line show was something to behold, man. And the title track, man, wow. You know, again, you know, the, the great, you know, little intro, like Children of the Sea and, and like uh, Invisible from the last album, and Don't Talk to Strangers. That's like, but a little more happy kind of riffage, almost kind of like a, you can picture the hobbits dancing around the Shire to that intro. But, you know, then it gets into that heaviness. The video, oh, man. 
I don't know what's up with that damn video on the elevator and that weird thing that comes in. That's a stupid ass video, but it's not a stupid ass song. I mean, I think the song rocks. And it's one of his more popular tunes, so hey, it's a fan favorite as well, man. Last in line rules. Then we go on to Breathless. Now, here's where I feel this is filler. Actually, there's another, there's a couple other fillers, and this is the best of the fillers. I wouldn't really skip it. I do have a live, I didn't see him play it live, though I am. I have a live version on, what is it? I have a single that has Breathless Live on it. It might have been Evil Eye, but I don't remember. But either way, Breathless is okay. Nothing to write home about, but, you know, there's a dip there, you know. And then it goes to, wow, man, I Speed at Night, probably my favorite. I would, as we go through the album, let's see if I say, no, this one's my favorite. But as we speak right now, I Speed at Night rules. What a heavy, fast song. And again, unfortunately, I didn't see him play this. He didn't do it on that on that night I saw the tour. But it's it, it's my favorite track as we speak. Maybe later while I'm speaking before this video's over, I'll feel different. But I Speed at Night, I hate the light. I Speed at Night, what a ripping song. It's like Dio on steroids, man. I Speed at Night rules. Then the next track, One Night in the City, which I did see him play live on that tour, love the song. I love it. I love those little noises. Do you touch, do you tick, do you see, do you tick? It's almost reggae-ish, you know, those little, those little sound effects, but it's a great tune, man. It's a nice mid-tempo, catchy, love it, man. It's a great song. Great song to end side one, All right? Then we start with side two, Evil Eyes. Love it, man. I believe this was, I don't know if it's the same version, but it was a B-side on the Holy Diver era. It was, I know it was a B-side. I'm not sure if it's the same version on here and they re-recorded. All I know, the song fucking rocks. It's a great song, great way to kick off side two. Heavy, fast, just ripping. And it has like that melodic flair to it. It's a little commercial in a good way. And then we go into Mystery. This one's very commercial in a bad way. I don't like this song. And he did play it live. He made a stupid video for it. It's a blatant attempt to do Rainbow in the Dark again. It's so, it's the same formula of Rainbow in the Dark, just nowhere is good. Sorry, man. I love Ronnie. I don't like bashing these songs, but I really don't like Mystery. I just don't. It's a mystery why it made it on the album. And it's even a bigger mystery how it became a single. Uh, but, you know, I, no, it's not really. It's like, okay, let's try to, you know, capture lightning in a bottle again. Rainbow in the Dark Mystery, no, it didn't work. Then Eat Your Heart Out, again, I gotta say, fill it. You know, it's not bad. It's better than Mystery, but it's not better than Breathless. It's okay. Now, I don't know, man, what the hell I said in that review in Bitch Shoot down there. Maybe I said positive things about these songs. I don't know, because it, it was like 10 years ago, maybe even 11 years ago, I did these videos. I think it was like 2011 I did these deal reviews. But um, eh, I, can, I can do without that track. But the last track I can't do without. And I love this song, Egypt, The Chains Are On, which proved that I Speed at Night is my favorite track off the album, because Egypt would probably be my second. No, my third after Last In Line. Um, love it. I love Egypt. Uh, chains are on. It's an epic, epic song, which, you know, is the whole, you know, concept of uh, the album cover and the tour, because it is, you know, Egypt and, you know, pharaohs and all that shit. Um, love it. Doro Pesh does a great version of it. But, you know, it's kind of long, uh, but, it, you know, it's like the epic. How long is it? Does it say here? Almost seven minutes long but it's great you know i love that riff i love the it's got this atmosphere to it you know it's just pretty damn cool and in the end it's a damn good album okay it has some filler but man i gotta say man i wouldn't i mean i wouldn't skip any songs and if i would it would be mystery but i i heard this song today i heard this album today i didn't skip a thing you know and i enjoyed it i enjoyed mystery to a but, you know, listening to it, I was like, yeah, you know, I mean, this ain't that great. And it's so blatantly trying to be 
do Rainbow in the Dark, a Rainbow in the, yeah, Rainbow in the Dark again. And, and, but again, this is a great album, and I think uh, there is a future Dio album coming up that I even like more than this one, or I would probably put them at par, and it ain't the next one. I think it goes downhill on the next one. And I will be back next week talking about the next one again because all these Dio albums are banned. So I have to redo them all. I mean, talk about them all and instruct you all to click the link below. And speaking of the link below, there's also a PayPal if you'd like to donate. That'd be great. And uh, if you'd like to subscribe, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. It'll bring, a, it will bring world peace. Do it for Ronnie. All right, uh, let me take that back. I don't want to use the spirit and glorious soul of Ronnie James Dio to get subscribers. But I'm sure he'd like you to, you know? Because I love Ronnie. And therefore, you should subscribe because Ronnie loves me. I met him twice and he was a very loving person. And uh, hey, thank you. I mean, even if you don't subscribe, I want to thank you for watching because you're still listening to me. And you've come this far in the video and i really do appreciate that that to me is actually cooler than you subscribe just checking out my shit i mean as long as you like it and come back and watch some more of my videos because if you're watching this still going man this guy sucks but i'm an idiot and i like watching people that suck all the way to the end then you know then fuck you really fuck you ronnie says fuck you too so stay frosty, everybody. Listen to Black Sabbath. All hail Ronnie James Dio. Smack him a gob.